limit as t approaches 4 of t minus 4 over t squared minus 7t plus 12. Now, for my first example here, before you try one on your own, I'm going to just plug it in so you can see what happens here, because something happens that we have to adjust for. So if we just tried to straight up plug in the number that's closest as we can to 4, namely 4, notice that in the numerator you would get 4 minus 4, and in the bottom you would get, in the denominator, you would get 4 squared minus 7 times 4 plus 12. Right? 4 minus 4 is 0, and that's okay. Zeros in the numerator are okay. But in the bottom, we'd have a 16 minus 28, which is negative 12, plus 12, which is also 0. So 0 over 0 we're not allowed to do. This is called indeterminate. Indeterminate. So we're going to have to use something special here. Now that doesn't mean it's, it, it, it doesn't have a value, but it doesn't have a value in a very special way. We can still perform a limit. We could plug in a number like 3.999999 and numerically see what the value is. But an advantage to, uh, to doing this, uh, or knowing some algebra, is that we can actually use the work without a calculator. We can say, well, limit as t approaches 4, I understand that uh, the 4 causes this indeterminate form, this 0 over 0. So what would I get if I simplified this using algebra? t minus 4 on the top. On the bottom, we have a quadratic. With num We'll need to find some numbers that multiply to 12 and add to negative 7. That would be a negative 4 and a negative 3. Then notice that the t minus 4 cancels out from top to bottom. So that means we really have a limit as t approaches 4 of 1 over t minus 3. So the thing that caused that indeterminateness was the fact that we had a t minus 4 on top and bottom. But now that we've reduced that 0 over 0 piece of it, we can now literally plug in t equals 4 into the equation, or into this expression, and see what we get. So now we have 1 over. 4 minus 3, which is 1 over, now 4 minus 3 is just 1, so we have 1 over 1, and of course that simplifies to be 1. So the correct answer to this limit is not undefined, it's actually equal to 1, because we reduced it via algebra. Okay, you can verify this by plugging in 3.999999 or 4.0001, but you should get an answer that's really close to 1. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. No need to plug it in initially, I promise you get 0 over 0. But assuming you gave it a shot here and tried it out on your own, notice that we get the limit as t goes towards 2, and in the numerator that's quadratic. So can you think of two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to negative 3? And hopefully you got t minus 1 and t minus 2. On the bottom, it's just the quantity t minus 2, and so those will cancel out, leaving us with simply a limit as t goes towards 2 of the quantity t minus 1. So initially, 2 was the problem because it caused a clear 0 in the denominator, and uh, not as clear, but also a 0 in the numerator. But after reducing them, now we have an expression that does not have a t minus 2 in the denominator. So here we can literally just plug in t for 2, so I get 2 minus 1, and 2 minus 1 is the number 1. That's a coincidence, by the way. These limits do not always come out to be 1, so don't assume that 0 over 0 equals 1.